on, everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, D-Braz, Dan Brazen in the building. Welcome to the show, guys. So we had some positive reception from our last Milwaukee Bucks, a little preview. We thought we would give you our reaction and what we think from the preseason game last night. The Milwaukee Bucks played their first preseason game in Milwaukee with no fans. This was against the Dallas Mavericks. Now, they did not have Porzingis, but we did have Luka there. I believe he scored like 13 points. He looked good in minimal time. Now let's talk about the Milwaukee Bucks. We have a very new team here. We have to develop some chemistry. We need to get these guys acquainted, working together, and get some real minutes. These guys played into the third quarter, which surprised me. I watched the first half and then went and watched The Mandalorian with my wife. And once I tuned back in, I saw that like Giannis and them just got out the game. And I was like, oh, snap. Okay. Um, now... There were some bright spots, there were some low spots, some things that I, I think they need to work on, and let's start with the things I think they need to work on. So right away, all the players are rusty, everybody is rusty, so it's, it, it's completely okay. I saw a lot of missed shots, a lot of missed shots, but one thing that we can work on is defending the other team's shots now those three pointers that daunted us last year we always give up the most three pointers we're doing it again guys i could already see it and that's how you beat us in the playoffs unless we have the full squad going now obviously our team's just getting together we went on a run they went on a run but in the third quarter Dallas went on a pretty nice run, and then Bud pulled the starters, and they just kind of continued until the end. The the no names you would call them, you know, all the um, all your bench mob and your young guys, your DJ Wilsons, uh, your Tory Craig's, um, Bobby Portis, who looked bomb by the way. Like he is a roller coaster of a player. He's up, he's down for every for for every two good plays. He has another head scratcher. I understand, but I love the energy and he's still developing. L lower ceiling, but it's not super low either in the sense of you you know that you're not going to get a superstar or maybe an all-star, but you could get a guy that could come in and kind of play a Montrez Harrell role for the Bucks. Definitely could see it. I'm not asking for something crazy out of him, but a 14 to 15 points off the bench when he gets it going and he's actually on a team that's contending now, they have a superstar. He doesn't have to be the main guy. I don't know. Maybe a maybe at the end of the year, he'll have 10 points again. I don't know what they're thinking. But there's not too many, like, besides Giannis and you got Middleton, but for forwards, there's not too many bigs that we have at that position that are going to score a lot of points. So DJ Wilson's finally coming around, guys. I really like that. That it was... That's it's what we want. You know, we need some backup. We we want Giannis to take a breather and know that he's going to be okay. Um, that's why we went and got Drew Holiday. Him in the game is so much different than Eric Bledsoe, even though we just got a taste. But even just with the taste, like you're, you're out somewhere and you got a sample of something, you... Just buy a taste or not, you know if it's good. Sometimes you don't always buy it, but if it's real good, you buy it. And we got a taste last night, and I definitely like what I saw. I, I, I liked the small taste that we got of Drew Holiday. And then, man, Torrey Craig can play some defense. He's all over, snatching rebounds out of people's hands, stealing the ball. I like him. He's, he's a gritty guy, somebody you need to do some dirty work that can take a little bit of that off of Giannis's hands. You see, a lot of the time, Giannis gets his hands dirty a lot. Let's, 
and, and that's part of his DNA. We're not saying don't don't stop doing that, bro. I, I totally get it. It's who you are, but sometimes he gets into foul trouble. Maybe we need another bully to get into foul trouble. See, Craig is nice. He's a good player, good defensive guy, and he's a work on a three pointer. He's not bad, but he's not good. He's he's right below average, I think. But he honestly. He's the guy you need to be that other bully. Oh, okay, I'll go in. And he can get into foul trouble because you lose him. It still sucks losing one of your players. But we can afford to lose Torrey Craig away. Like, Giannis needs to stay in the game. And that's what we'll be running into. We, You can tell that we brought all the players in that we thought that we needed. Now, we could talk about the... That boy from the Hawks, we won't even mention his name now because it kind of grinds your gears. But, hey, this is still, it's still fun. It happens. It's the NBA. Now you got DiVincenzo actually starting. He's the starting shooting guard now. So we're about to trade you, and now you're the starter. It is a weird situation. But the real question is, is this going to lead to a championship or at least a finals appearance? I have not seen that yet, but I, I like the small taste that we got of the team. I, I think that Giannis still has it, but we do need to get the shooting in there. It was all about, like I said, it's all about how we defend these players and we're still sticking to our old tricks of the last couple years. We need to change that up, bud. Let, let's keep switching things up. I get it. Maybe let, let's just run a few things early for the preseason and we'll switch some things up. Cool. But that's one thing that Coach Bud has always been criticized for the last few years now is being able to be like a Eric Spolstra or a Pop or... Some of the best coaches that even a Brad Stevens, a guy that can switch up his coaching in the middle of the series, in the middle of the playoffs, because the game plan broke down. We need somebody to switch up the game plan. Your game plan is not always going to work. It's not going to work in life. It's not going to work at work. It's not always going to work in basketball and anything. So it's how are you able to adapt and that's what I want to see. I also believe that Giannis needs to keep working. Jump shot. He what? I, what did he? He made a three pointer last night, but he he shot a lot. He missed a lot. He made a few. It's okay though, bro. Keep working on that. Everyone has something to work on, but last night definitely I saw some bright spots. Saw some negative spots, but that is okay, Bucks Nation. Be happy because a few years ago, I think it was like five, six years ago, do you guys remember when we signed Greg Monroe and it was like the biggest free agent signing ever, ever? And, and, and he had like 18 points that year, but we were not that good. Well, I went to a preseason game. It was the first preseason game of the year. It was at the Bradley Center and. I like going to the preseason games sometimes because you get tickets for super cheap. So me and my fam went, my, took my son and my wife, and it was bad. I think we were, lo we were losing by like 30, 40 points a half, bro. It was, it was not fun. You can get an idea of what this team is. Just an idea through the preseason because unlike, um, unlike the NFL – you always have to switch it out, right? Always. Always have to, act, like, you get your first string players for, like, a series or two. In the NBA, I want you guys to at least play a half, and that's what they did. So, I mean, we got Giannis, I'm especially, like, if you pay for these tickets, if they're, like, half off or 75% off, you know, way cheaper than a regular game, of course you're going to go, especially if they play a half, Dude, that's awesome, man. Um, and you get to see a little bit of everybody. That's what's fun about the preseason games. Uh, you get to see what you have on the bench. Because through the years, 
you only get to see what you have on the bench if you have injuries. And sometimes you have a lot of injuries. Sometimes you get lucky and you never really know what you have until you, you wave it or you trade it or, you know, or just let it go. And I love seeing the bench. I love seeing the progression. DJ Wilson, I see you like you smooth for years. You know, we've always wanted to see more of you. Your minutes got cut last year, maybe for a reason, maybe because Gian- Giannis really was getting most of the power forward minutes. And so, as you know, we, we had a, a few other players that, that were taking up those minutes and we had both of the Lopez, both of the Lopez brothers that were getting a lot, like most of the big man minutes too, the way they were switching it up. But this might be your year, man. Your minutes are going to upgrade. We don't have way too many options there. I mean, especially if, if there's an injury or two, we're going to be, our, our depth is not, is not fully there yet. We need to get chemistry down and then we'll worry about depth right now, guys. Uh, that's the big thing is can Drew Holiday be enough of a factor and can these other players that we brought in, um, one guy I haven't talked about yet was Bryn Forbes and he didn't look good. He didn't look bad. He had one of those games where he shot a bunch and he didn't really make any like he made a few shots he made a few defensive plays but he's he's not the best defensive player but when you when him and Tory Craig are on the 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 court together there's something special about that because they're they're kind of like opposite so I feel okay if you know another big defender is in the game that can kind of pick up um and then just give that thing over to Brim and see if he can put it up it's one of those guys where you just have to have sharpshooters all over. Um, if he wasn't a shooter, he would probably not be in the NBA, but that's okay. Dude, dude can shoot the ball, and that's why he is. He is a sharpshooter, and that's what he gets paid to do. So bring him on in here. He looked rusty, but let, let's give him, you know, at least a good five to ten games until we until the jury's out. We don't need too long. We need a few preseason games, and then I need a good five five games right away to just see where we are like is are are you hurt are you just is it an adjustment there's there could be excuses that are valid we just we need a few few games and then obviously some players aren't going to turn up for a few few weeks few months but honestly it's game time and you got to be ready, guys. This is what you guys get paid to do. I know it's been crazy, so that's why players like LeBron are going to be taking games off, but I get it. Totally okay, but I want to see some good basketball. That's what we all want to see, so get out there. You guys are balling. I know you are. I know you've been putting work in. Let's go. Let's go, Milwaukee. This is the time. It's time we get a ring, and if it happens, it happens. Nobody is jumping ship. We're here, like the bandwagon is bigger than it's ever been. And if if Giannis leaves, it's it's back to the old times and back to drafting the next guy. But I think that we're gonna keep Giannis. We just have to keep on pushing and always test everything. Try everything. Don't necessarily say no to anything. Go hard, but don't throw your team away. Right now, we gave away a bunch of picks to get a Drew Holiday, so we are pressed of what we can do. I know James Harden's name's out there, but what are we going to do, man? Um, This game was all about runs, um, and the Dallas Mavericks went on a run in like the third quarter, and just kind of blew us away, and there was nothing that we could necessarily do about it anymore. And Bud, he he pulled his players, and it happens. It is perfectly okay in a preseason game. Now, if it was if this is a regular game, there was so much time left, but we didn't need to see anything like that no more. We things got a little scrappy. Giannis hurt his eye in the game. Go go check that out. Um, every Bucks fan heart stop when we saw that. We're like, no, did he break his nose or something? So. Um, it's it was a good game it was fun to watch but bucks basketball is back hopefully in a few months if we can get some vaccine action going we'll see what everything you know entails with that hopefully and when everything's safe we can get some fans back that would be amazing 
to see Milwaukee downtown just going crazy. Um, the Bucks, man, this team is better with with their crowd, like most teams are. And man, that that how do I say this? Last year we had that number one seed and. It was not useful at all, basically. Yeah, we got some lower seeds, but we didn't have a, a, a crowd advantage. Nobody did, but, you know, you worked hard, and it, it there were so many things about it that just sucked, and you can't blame it on anything because we lost those games fair and square. There's no... I'm not pointing figures or anything. It was just, you know, you get that one seed, best team in the NBA for a reason, and then you it, it's useless, you know? And that's why so many players said the seeding doesn't matter because it did not matter. Um, we got beat by, what, a five or six seed, the Heat, which were the better team at the moment in time, I can't lie. Um, but let's bring that thing back. Let's go. We added some new sugar to the juice. Let's go. It's sweeter than ever, and we're going. This is going to be a great year. I can feel it. Let's get that one seed back. Let's... Let's hope by the time the finals happen, we can have real fans, and let's get it. After one game, I like what I saw. I saw a lot of bright spots. This is not going to be a bad team. We did not lose our juice. We just have to mix some things up. That's all, guys. Let me know what you think after watching that game last night. We love you. Thanks for watching the fan club. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.